Sudorite has finally revealed their total complete redesign of their platform. And I think it is a big deal. Although I have a few people that have come to me and given me a few complaints that they have about it. So let's dive in, take a look, and whether or not we think it is a good redesign or not. And I'll also give you my take on whether Sudorite is still a good investment nearing the end of 2023 and whether it's something that you should look into. Let's get into it. All right, so I am here in Sudorite, and as you can see, there are a number of big changes right off the bat. First of all, the biggest thing is that Story Engine, the, the big feature that kind of is the thing responsible for getting Sudorite the explosive growth that it's had over the last year, is no longer its own thing. It is now completely and seamlessly integrated with the main part of Sudorite. And this is something that I've been saying needed to happen for months now. I thought that the original layout of S Story Engine was clunky. You had to like scroll horizontally across the page, which no one likes to scroll horizontally. Let's just, you know, make that clear. And it was, you know, it was, it just didn't look great, right? And so now all of that is included here in various manners. The main part here is the story Bible. So if you do this, so you can click on it here or you can just scroll all the way down and you get your brain dump, your genre, your style, your synopsis, your characters, your outlines, everything is all here under Story Bible. It's no longer called Story Engine. I do think that Story Bible is maybe a little bit of a misleading term because usually when I think of Story Bible, I'm thinking, you know, characters, the characters part works, but I'm not thinking genre and style and synopsis and outline. Uh, for Story Bible, I'm thinking more like world building and setting locations and stuff like that and characters, of course. So I think that's a little bit of a misnomer, but I can forgive it for them because it's nice to just have it all here in one place. So these are all of the things that Story Engine previously was pulling from and now you can just kind of stick it down here and kind of forget about it once it's there revisit if you if you need to but then that's there down here we have canvas which hasn't really there it doesn't look like anything has really changed about canvas if you ask me canvas is you know not not the greatest feature honestly i never use it for anything uh, but then up here is where you get your documents. And so this is like just an untitled document that is not connected to the outline. So if you wanted to do something that's connected to the outline down here, we could come up here, click on this, select chapter three. We'll say this is chapter three, call it chapter three. And now it's connected, it's linked with chapter three of the outline down here in our outline section. And now what that allows us to do is we can now open up the chapter generator, which is a little link right here. You might also see it already there. It'll look like this. And now you're able to generate your beats for this chapter. So since this is connected to chapter three of our outline, which again is down here in the story Bible section, you can now just hit generate beats. And there you go. It starts generating the beats for you in that for that particular chapter. Now, just a side note, I never use this to write my own beats. I, um, I always write them myself. If you've been following along with me on my live streams, you'll see exactly how I do that. I basically dictate the whole thing, so it doesn't take very long. It takes about 20 minutes per chapter to write the story beats when I'm dictating, which is probably less time than it would take for me to edit these by typing manually. So I just do it that way. But you could easily just take the beats that you've already written and just copy paste them into here. If you copy and paste it in, that won't count against your pseudorite word count. And you can do that. So once this is done, then you can come here and select generate a chapter. So we're going to go to this little drop down and select which one we want. Of course, you have most accurate, best prose, fastest, and unfiltered, which are the same ones that we've had before. I'm going to select best prose. And from here, we can go ahead and select generate chapter and it starts to generate the chapter. Now I'm going to pause this 
So it'll finish the beats that it are that it's working on right now, and then it'll pause. And boom, it's done with those two. And now I can edit this to be how I like it and then continue on with the next two. The reason I stop and edit is because sometimes it gets a little off course and that's the way it used to be and that's the way it still is. And then if you're done with this chapter generator, you can just select this button or hit the X sign here and it'll get rid of that. And now you just have the document here natively in your dashboard just as you know, before you would have had to copy it out of Story Engine and then move it into this section. And now you don't have to do that. It's all just here naturally, which means that using this, you can now select a bit and then you have access to all of the other pseudo write tools right here so that you don't need, again, you don't have to copy and paste things from Story Engine. Now you, it's just right here. You can immediately just say like rewrite, we want to you know show not tell hit go and it creates your alternate versions here you can insert if you like it and that's all you have to do and it's actually really really great that you can now do this all in one place all of the other newer features that you see are still here the plugins all of the new plugins that they've started to incorporate those are all here and those are really fun to play around with all of the different ways to write you can continue like say you like say we cut this off and we just wanted to continue writing from here we could come up here to write and then hit guided and then we could just write in what we sh think should happen next and boom it'll do that and so it's it's really good at integrating everything in one place so that you don't have to hop around different places because it kind of felt like two different programs before it felt like story engine was sort of its own software and then the main pseudoride dashboard was its own software and now it's all together in one i think the layout is very clean i like it i've had a few people say that they don't care for it and i can understand that but speaking from an an objective designer point of view, this is 100% a better workflow because it involves l fewer steps, right? You don't have to copy and paste anything. Everything is right here in one place. It's not too hard to find everything. So like Story Bible is easily organized down here. All of your chapters are listed in a nice organized way here. You have access to all of the main Pseudorite tools just by you know, making your selections and doing whatever you want there. So I think this is a remarkable improvement on the layout. And so let's talk a little bit about what I think is up with Pseudorite day, these days and whether I think that they are still worth it. The bottom line is for authors that are just starting out experimenting with AI, I think, yes, it is worth it. The biggest problem I have with Pseudorite at this point is the fact that it's the the payment plan. You only get 90,000 words for 30 bucks a month. Whereas with 20 bucks a month for Claude or for ChatGPT, you can get unlimited words. And particularly with Claude, I have found that that 20 bucks a month can do like, because I'm a little more advanced. And if you watch my live streams, you can see my processes in action. Because I'm a little more advanced, I actually find Claude to be easier. And I don't say that lightly because I get a affiliate in revenue from Pseudorite and I don't get affiliate revenue from Claude. So if I'm driving you away from Pseudorite, then that's like, you know, money I'm losing. Um, not to say that that's what I recommend yet, but Claude, if you know what you're doing and you're a little more advanced, it can work out just as well and you get unlimited words. I think Pseudorite is a fantastic tool but I think if they want to stay competitive, they are eventually going to need to up the amount of words that you get or bring the price down or have like say an unlimited tier at some point. If they had an unlimited tier, even if it was pretty expensive, like, you know, up to a hundred dollars or so a month, I think I would pay for that because the tools that they have are specifically geared for authors and i do believe that that is a that is something that they can uniquely provide that ChatGPT or claude cannot uniquely provide everything i can do in claude i can do here in pseudorite and it would be easier to do it here in pseudorite the only major difference 
is that for Claude, I could do it for no extra charge. In Sudorite, I know I'm using up my words. And if you've been following me on my channel, you'll know I rerun the prompt several times to get what I want. And I probably would have run out of those words in Sudorite by now. So that is something that concerns me. And um, if any of the Sudorite developers are watching, I highly encourage you to think about your payment plan because I think in the competitive landscape that we're in now, what worked before is not going to continue to work for, for much longer. So that is my only gripe with Sudorite. Otherwise, I do think it's a fantastic tool. It's great for experimenting. If you want, you can use my affiliate link below, which will get you 10,000 free words to just play around with. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Sudorite. And one last note, if you are interested in learning more about my process, particularly the process that I'm using now with my live streams in Claude, and you want me to teach all of that to you, I now have this new membership, which it has a ton of really cool stuff in it. This is what it looks like on the inside. On the left here, you can see there's a welcome tour, and then you can come here and get some free books. My book, 10,000 Words an Hour and From Zero to Published, all available in here inside the membership. There's a community, a Facebook group that you can find. There'll be archives of the newsletter. I send out a new newsletter every week, which is basically a new chapter from whatever book I'm working on at the time. And right now I'm working on a book about the super prompt, which is really awesome. There are a couple other bonuses in here. Then there's the AI Foundations course, which includes quite a number of videos all about which tools I use and why and the strengths of each one, and then all of the core techniques that I recommend. Then we get into phase one, which I call the reader magnet, which gives you all kinds of stuff, all about creating a short story, which we will use later. And then there are gonna be future phases coming very, very soon that will walk you through setting up your own email list and writing an entire book and publishing that book and marketing that book. And by the time you finish this whole thing, you will have published a book. That is my goal for you to actually get most of my viewers from that point of having nothing to actually having a book that is published that you can hold in your hands, which is the greatest feeling ever, by the way, the first time you do it. So if that's interesting to you, come on, check it out here. It's uh, storyhacker.ai where you can find the links. I'll also link to directly to the page below and you can get started there. I hope this was a useful video for you. I'll see you in the next one.